Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Jada Toys action figures, the Mega Man Wave 1 Mega Man figure. And this thing is awesome. I picked it up at Paul Mart store down at Frankensons. I was down there the weekend for uh, Designer Con. So I popped in there to see if I can get the Player 2 Ryu figure in the gray suit, the exclusive to Paul Mart store. Uh, they did not have it as they was those are stuck in custom, so he can't ship those out yet. Uh, but I got the Mega Man figure because they had Mega Man and Iceman. No Fire Man. Here we have the Wave 1, but no Fireman. He looks awesome. They had Iceman, but I passed on him. I think I'm only going to get Mega Man. I don't need to get the whole line um, or anything, but I wanted Mega Man. I loved the game as a kid. Um, I tried playing it as an adult, and it was truly the hardest thing ever. Like, it doesn't ever seem to want to work. Like, you can't win the game. It's impossible. Like, you can't just can't do it, man. Can't do it. But anyway... I got the Mega Man figures, 25 bucks at Paul Mart store. I think they're going to be 20 retail. You will not find these at Target stores like you can find the, the Street Fighter figures. These will not be. So I think you're going to look at like online retailers, um, comic shops, local shops, specialty shops, those kinds of things I think is where you're going to be able to get the Mega Man figures. Uh, but pretty cool. They are smaller than uh, like the Street Fighter figures. As you can tell here, the packaging is much smaller as well. I don't have the Ken packaging here with me at the moment. Um, so so smaller in scale, but I think scale wise, it's going to work well. Like if you want to do like build out your, your Capcom fighters and things like that, you know, it's going to work well. Um, so let's get right to it and take a look. You can see the box and everything like that. So Mega Man, um, he's awesome. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is the Mega Man figure out of the package, and again, he's so awesome. I've already messed with this. I did it at Designer Con while I was at the Unparalleled Universe booth, um, you know, talking about Odious. O Odious is coming along soon, um, coming along great, and will be um, relatively soon, so still looking at, 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 at a summer release for Odious. But here, Jada Toys Mega Man is what we're talking about, um, and he is a lot of fun. I I again, I really enjoyed the game so hard. Um, but I really enjoyed the game, so I had to get the figure because Jada Toys is just killing it in the action figure game. We get a lot of accessories. We get two head sculpts, so we get kind of this grinning, smiling head, and we get like this angry, like, I'm going to shoot your ass head, right? And then we get um, a couple of hands, so he's got fists that come on the figure, and then he's got this open hand here for the right, and then this, or this like grip hand, I guess it could be, or thumbs up kind of thing for the right, and then just this open hand here for the left. And then he also has this interchangeable blaster that you would you move the arm at the elbow and you can put it on whichever side you prefer uh, as you can see a little bit red there at the end and then a little bit of yellow there um, so you could swap that out so of course you know the arm pops off very easily and everything we get all kinds of points of articulation we get this one little stand for the effect and then we get this little yellow blast effect there it's just done in yellow translucent plastic uh, that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure Okay, so when we get a closer look at it, the paints all look pretty good. As you can see, there's blue, and we get some shading in there. So you got like the darker blue into a lighter blue, and then the light blue spots on the helmet, which all look really good. And then you can kind of see it on certain areas. So like on his backside there, um, and then in the front a little bit as well, and then like the front of the, the legs, and then on the feet, you kind of get that gradient lighter blue shading in there, which looks really cool. So I, not a whole lot going for it. He's, he's kind of a little guy. Uh, but it's all again done really nice. There's single joints on the on the, the points of articulation But I think it works well for Mega Man based on kind of the proportions, you know, we got smaller arm bigger um, Forearm and things so it would be kind of tough, you know double jointed wise plus he's very small and thin You know, you got to keep that in mind too, but we got the two head sculpts that look really good You pop them off very easily as you can see there just on a ball joint um, There it's got a hinge to it and then the neck itself. It's got its own point of articulation uh, So we got the two heads um, they both look really good pop them on there very easily um, when um, doing the articulation uh, I'll do this now there is a hinge on that blaster there as well uh, but you just pop it off right at the elbow you just pull it off um, and there you go and then you can pop the arm right back on uh, very easily bam you got your full-on Mega Man and again the blaster can go on whichever elbow uh, you want it to so there we go Mega Man now let's check out his articulation Okay, so Mega Man's articulation, the head, he can look up about that much, like so, 
and then he can look down really well, of course, there. You get the full side-to-side -side rotation movement. You can do some crazy pivot going on with the heads and everything like that, so it works out really well. The shoulder, you can get to go straight on out like so. Um, you get a full rotation in there. Uh, there's no bicep swivel or anything, but you can do a slight uh, crossbody, as you can see there. Um, you know, get the arm to go back and whatnot. Swivel, uh, single jointed elbow. You get a swivel at the elbow, and then like for his uh, his arm, you get that much bend uh, there at the elbow. And I think that's all you know. Mega Man's really gonna need. Um, again, he's he's a very small figure. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge standard horizontal hinge on all the hands. Uh, there you get the diaphragm cut there so you can actually tilt him to the left a little bit you could tilt him to the right a little bit there you get a swivel at that diaphragm up there um, and then the ball joint at the waist so getting back total you can lean him back that much uh, leaning forward is a far amount there as well which is great you could still swivel at that ball joint waist uh, there too the hip is a, a little bit of a softer plastic in there so you can um, really kind of push the limits a little bit the leg as you can see can kick out and around like a crazy amount in there which is just kind of crazy you do get an upper thigh cut in there as well single jointed uh knee so you get that much bend there at the knee and again i think for for mega man you know that 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 works um and then you got a uh ankle pivot in there foot hinges down hinges up and then again that pivot that works out really well and you get some red paint down at the bottom so you know with what you want to do with Mega Man I think you know the the single points of articulation those single joints uh, work out really well because you know again small figure um, and you can get him into the poses and things that you want to do even with those single joints but you know just he looks awesome like when you when I think Mega Man this is exactly what I think of Mega Man and I love it Okay, so to finish out the review, I want to go show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. So with the other Jada Toys action figures, we have the new Street Fighter Ken figure. And you can see he's almost twice the height of Mega Man and then the Marvel Legends Iron Man figure. So if you want to do a Marvel versus Capcom kind of thing, you can do that as I think the scaling actually works out quite well. Uh, but Mega Man, he might be little, but he is awesome. Typical Jada Toys fashion when it comes to the action figure game. Um, it works really well. The, the sculpt, the detail, the paint on there, the points of articulation, the movement that these figures can make. And then the price point at that. So Mega Man should be a $20 figure. I got it from Paul Mart store, so it was actually $25. I think online he's selling for $29.99, but that includes shipping. So I'll have a link in the video description below. Um, so if you want to get it like right away from Paul Mart store, I think they're the only ones that have it so far. Um, that you'll be able to do that, and he should have Iceman. I don't have Iceman. I did not pick him up myself, um, but I just got the Mega Man. He's absolutely worth it. Um, he came out awesome. Hopefully, he's the only figure that I will be getting from the Mega Man line because I don't want to get any others, but Fireman is looking really cool. I don't know if I'm going to be all in, but hopefully just the Mega Man. I don't want to get into collecting so many other action figures, but Jada Toys absolutely killed it. You guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this Mega Man figure? Um, is it one that you're going to be picking up? Are you excited about it? Are you all going to be all in on the line? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in helping support the channel, hit that join button, become a channel member, and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.